Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hello Dave with Down to Earth Astronomy. There's been a lot of news this week and especially over in Elite Dangerous there's been very interesting stuff going on over there. But before we begin to cover that I just want to make some quick notes about uh, Fracture Space. I got in contact with the uh, community managers at Edge Case Gaming which are the guys who make Fracture Space. And I've managed to get my hands on five Captain Pack keys. Now. The captain pack is a, an extra pack that you uh, you can buy that includes skins for six different ships the colossus the brawler the protector the paladin the superlifter and the hunter um, and for all those ships you're going to get a special black edition um, um, sp skin for the ship you're also going to get a thousand platinum which is the current um, gold currency in the game you're going to get uh, 10 crew pots 30,000 dna and 50 credit boosters so it's an absolutely huge pack and we're going to be giving away f uh, five of these um, and when this video goes live the first one is already going to be given out um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them out during my fractured space live stream which is going to happen over the course of the next I don't know maybe month or so when exactly the streams are I don't know yet because I don't have a fixed streaming schedule to do to real life stuff so if you want to get a chance for uh, to win one of these what you have to do is you are want to make sure that you uh, of course you are subscribed and I'll try to um, to tell you guys as soon as I know when the stream is going to be I'm going to post it on Twitter I'm going to post it on Discord and if you're subscribed you're also going to get a notification on um, on your phone your email whatever you have set up so make sure that you follow either of those um, channels of information so you know when those streams are coming if you want a chance to win one of these captain packs for the game and remember Fracture Space is free, so if you haven't picked up the game already, I highly suggest you do it. And then you of course have a chance to win one of these nice packages to just boot your game a little bit. So that's about it for, for Fracture Space. They have been developing a lot. They're still working on um, on queue times for PvP. They're testing different uh, game modes out. Um, there's going to be some interesting things here in the future, but I guess we'll uh, wait and see what they come up with. So turning over to Elite Dangerous, lots of interesting stuff have happened this week. And I'm just going to take them in order, the things that's happened, because if you don't know, if you haven't been following up what's been happening the last week, um, stay tuned because there's a lot of information here. So the week started out with um, with the release of patch 2.3.10 um, just before the launch of the game on PlayStation 4. So uh, this week we've said hello to a lot of new commanders over on PlayStation, which is uh, exciting. And for those of you watching, welcome to the community. Now, I did notice one odd thing about the patch, though. Um, it's a small bug fixing patch, and so you wouldn't expect it to be a very large patch. But yet again, once you begin to download it, it was a three and a half gigabyte patch. So I was a bit suspicious, thinking, well, there's something going on here. Um, and it turned out that uh, I was right because only I think less than a less than 24 hours later, um, the first alien structure was discovered. Now, if you don't want any spoilers, um, you should probably skip ahead in the video um, because there's going to be spoilers um, uh, in the next segment here. Now, the first alien structure was uh, was discovered, and this was one of those which was become to known as an inactive structure. So basically, this looks like a uh, oversized version of the Starcoid ship that has uh, either crashed or maybe it was just the way the structure was built. We don't really know, but the point is they are um, on the surface of some planet down the Pleiades sector. And the first one that was found, you could not really get into. You could get the doors to open if you had an unknown artifact in your cargo hold, but um, but all the entrances were blocked by or were collapsed, so so you could not really get into the main structure. Shortly after that, the first active structure was found, where you could where there was actually an open entrance where you could get into the main part of the structure. Now, in there, you could find an item called the Unknown Link. It's very similar to the Unknown Artifact and the Unknown Probe that we've had in the game for a very long time. And if you took those three items and transport them into the main room and drop them into uh, specific um, openings in, um, in close to some kind of device um, what would happen is um, a star map would open up in um, in the room and you would receive um, three pieces of data which were small sound recordings um, 
And if you took those uh, data and you took your unknown link and you flew into space, launched the unknown link and then played these sounds to the link, it would then reply um, with a set of, of encrypted data that you could then decrypt. Um, how people exactly do it, I'm not actually sure. Um, but uh, I, I know that the people over at Canon Research, they have figured this out. They actually discovered these sites uh, very quickly at the moment. Um, but you could decrypt this um, and then that would point you to a system and then you travel to that system and once in the system you would then again launch your uh, unknown link and play the same sound to it. Once you do that it will then turn on a um, um, like a, a, like a laser pointer and point towards a, a location in the system you're in where um, where the next site would be. And of course, you've got three pieces of data, and it seems like, like I have not confirmed this, but it seems like that every site that you, you get gives you three pieces of data, two of them being inactive, one of them being active. Not sure about this, so don't quote me on it, but it seems like that's the way it works. So basically, you can use your unknown link as a GPS to find these sites, and they seem to be all linked together, one pointing to the next, and to the next, and to the next. Um, so that's very that's very interesting. So far, they've been fine. I think they're approaching a hundred of these sites right now. Um, how many of them are active? I don't know, but there are a lot of them out there. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Another thing with the unknown link is if you put the, the unknown artifact, which makes this very distinct sound, and the unknown link into space next to each other, the unknown link will apply to what the unknown artifact is, uh, is sending out. So they definitely have something uh, in common. They definitely interact in some kind of way. Now, another thing, um, that's pretty much where we are at the moment. We have all these sites, we don't know where this is leading. We've not really end, reached the end of, of, uh, of this uh, whole chain of, of uh, getting new sites. So it's gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen in the next week. And stay tuned for the next version of this uh, news update because I'm gonna keep you guys posted on, uh, on what's happening with all this stuff. So now we're getting into all the tinfoil hats, um, speculations kind of thing. Um, because at these uh, alien structures, there's a lot of other materials lying around that we've never seen before. Um, I expect that these are materials that we're going to need to craft whatever weapons or equipment we're going to need uh, if we're going to defend or attack the uh, the Thargoids when that's happening in uh, probably in the 2.4 release. Um, so that's going to be interesting. That's just my, uh, my predictions. Where all this uh, is leading, I don't really know. Um, it, this is, could go go many ways, but I'm pretty sure that when we reach the end of this chain um, of, uh, of, uh, of alien uh, structures and we figure out where all this this ends, there's going to be something there at the, at the end, uh, hopefully revealing a little bit more information about what's to come and what we can expect. Um, But I think that's gonna be uh, be it for today. Again, remember to subscribe, to stay tuned, come over on Discord, there's a link below, so, um, so you can stay posted, stay updated with everything that's happening. Um, and also, if there are any major developments, I will be sure to try and live stream what's happening um, as they happen during the week, just as it did this week. So again, stay tuned on the channel. I will try to do my very best to keep you guys posted on, uh, on all these events. So thanks a lot for watching today. And remember guys, if you have any questions you would like me to answer in these uh, Hello Day videos, post them down below and I'll try to take them up in, uh, in next week's episode. So again, thanks for like, blah, blah, blah. So that's gonna be, uh, be it for today. 
Um, thanks a lot for watching. Um, remember to, uh, to subscribe so you know when the next uh, news update is there. Also, come over on Discord. You can also stay updated over there. And if there are any major developments in uh, this whole alien structure thing, I'll be sure to try and live stream it um, as it happens. So stay tuned for that. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And until next time, I'll see you guys in space.